If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn K6 series. In this episode 7, we are going to see about scenarios and executors in K6. So what are scenarios? Think of like a collection of scripts or collection of transactions where you would like to simulate the real world situations in your environment. The main responsibility of any performance tester is to simulate the real world situations. By leveraging scenarios and executors in K6, you can configure the advanced settings for your virtual users and the iterations. And also, it allows you to configure either parallel or sequential execution or if you want to mix and match, it is possible. You can also put multiple scenarios in one file so that you can try to simulate the real world situations. So how we can use scenarios in K6? There is no library to import. Only thing is you have to leverage the options object. So inside the options object, you have to mention your scenario name, the unique scenario name, and then you have to pass the key value pair. The main key value pair is the executor. So executor tells you how you can interact with your virtual users and the iterations. And there are couple of key value pairs are optional and couple are mandatory. The detailed documentation is available in the K6 website you can go through. So you can mention multiple scenarios by comma separated. So now let us see what is executor. So executor is a, like a CPU of your K6 engine. So it is a work horses basically. And there are different types of executors available. Shared iterations, per VU, constant VUs, ramping VUs, constant arrival rate, ramping arrival rate and externally controlled. So these executors will execute based on the settings you provide in the script and then it will try to reach the maximum duration or the number of views or the iteration so it depends on various factors but it will help you to configure the views and the iterations so now let us see a quick demo about these executors how you can leverage scenarios and executors using a simple demo script so this is my simple k6 script where i have configured multiple scenarios there are totally seven scenarios i believe we are going to uncomment each scenario and execute and see how it behaves. So the first scenario is per view scenario. Line number six configures per view scenario. So per view scenario means based on per virtual user, it will simulate each iterations. So in this case, line number eight has views as five and line number nine iterations are five. So totally each V user will try to complete five iteration and there is another parameter called start time. So when you want to start this particular scenario, whether you want to start after a minute or after an hour or immediately. So now let us just uncomment this particular scenario and let us execute and see how many iterations it is going to execute. So now I'm going to my uh, terminal and I'm going to run uh, K6 run and my demo script. So as you see here, after three seconds, the execution is getting started and K6 will clearly display the timer and the views and the iterations and how many interrupted iterations. And also I have the check. So check is passed and after everything is done, you can see the statistics. So here, as I mentioned, there would be around 25 iterations. So clearly you can see 25 complete. And also before it start the execution, it will display the details about the scenario. So it says five iterations for each of five views so that it will reach 25 iterations. The maximum duration is 10 minutes, start time is three seconds and graceful stop is 30 seconds. So whenever you want to have some details about your scenario, you can check the log file. Now 
let me uncomment this particular scenario per view scenario and I'm going to uncomment the shared scenario. So shared scenario as you know it will be shared the iterations will be shared among the virtual users. So each virtual user here it will execute one iteration. So totally there will be five iterations. So now let me clear my screen and execute the same script again and here you can see the shared scenario five iterations shared among five virtual users maximum duration of 10 minutes and grace will stop 30 seconds everything is fine and here you can see five iterations totally so this is how shared scenario shared iterations behave when you incorporate this in your script now the next scenario which is constant scenario so constant scenario from the name itself you can see so it will be a constant views basically so the number of views will be constant a fixed number of views execute your script as many as iterations as possible so within five seconds how many iterations it can achieve it will achieve again it depends on various factor like sleep and your response time network throughput so other factors also will influence this number but since we are using uh, some demo website i think it should be pretty quick so now let me just uh, go to the terminal and clear the screen and execute this particular constant scenario and here you can see five v users looping for five seconds so totally how many iterations we will reach so totally i think it has reached 25 iterations here so if you use constant v use it keeps the virtual users constant and it will try to achieve as many as iterations possible during the time duration which is here 5 seconds now let me just comment this and let us uh, uncomment the ramping view scenario so ramping view scenario so what it will do so from the name itself you can see so ramping means variable views so whenever you come across the term ramping it means variable it changes so this uh, variable number of virtual users executes as many as iterations as possible so that is the purpose of this ramping uh, we use now let me clear my screen here and then let me just uh, execute this ramping view scenario and here you can see up to five looping views for 15 seconds over one stages stages again it's an array you can just uh, keep adding the number of stages you want by uh, comma separated and then uh, you can just plan uh, based on your uh, the scenario so here as you see there are uh, 36 iterations got completed because the duration is 15 seconds so using the variable views you can achieve the uh, iterations based on your uh, configuration okay next we are going to see about constant arrival scenario so let me just uh, uncomment this uh, constant arrival and so constant arrival scenario will help you to uh, execute the fixed number of iterations during the specified uh, time so here in this case we have 20 uh, seconds and the rate is uh, 5 and it will try to use maximum view of 10 so this particular scenario will uh, uh, leverage the a variable number of views but it will go up to 10 so it will not go beyond 10 but it will try to uh, reach 10 and it will try to keep the constant arrival rate which is 5 in this case so now if you uh, execute this scenario as you see here so it try to achieve 5 iterations per second for 20 seconds by using the maximum views between 5 to 10 so it keeps varying it might be in middle of the test or end of the test or during initialize uh, in the test but it tries to keep up the uh, views so that it will try to constantly uh, execute five iterations per second so this will be very helpful in case if you want to achieve uh, this particular uh, value irrespective of uh, whatever the backend is the backend behavior is so that is the main purpose of this constant arrival scenario so next we are going to see about the uh, ramping arrival scenario so ramping arrival scenario has stages so whenever you see stages 
you can have comma separated so you can have a uh, uh, number of stages based on your uh, the uh, workload model so the ramping arrival uh, will uh, help you to uh, use the uh, variable number of iterations so this will uh, vary and uh, it will execute based on the uh, time and it it will also uh, keep up the uh, ramping views basically variable views so that is the difference between the constant arrival pattern and the ramping arrival pattern so now uh, if i execute uh, this particular uh, scenario you can see the difference so here uh, it will try to keep up the 15 iterations per second for 30 seconds using one stage and it says insufficient views because we have only five views so five views uh, it is not uh, sufficient to produce 15 iterations per second so it will it will not uh, reach that 15 iterations per second objective here so now let me just uh, stop this and let us uh, just configure maximum views of 15 here so now if i clear the screen and run it will try to use uh, two minimum because that is what we uh, fixed it here 2 to 15 iterations 15 views basically and it will try to reach 15 iterations per second for over 30 seconds duration so target that is the uh, main objective here this target here line number 47 uh, that is our objective and duration is 30 seconds so it will try to keep up between 2 to 15 so it, it could be 15 it could be 10 it could be 2 so it depends on various factors but it will try to keep up the maximum number of views and also the uh, target and iterations will vary so it depends on again various factors so this also it is not uh, trying to uh, reach the 15 iterations per second so we need more views so now let me uh, clear my screen and let us uh, double it to uh, 30 and let me just execute so now it should uh, complete this particular execution successfully without showing any error uh, assuming the backend is uh, fine so the response time and other factors uh, should be uh, minimum as possible so that uh, k6 will try to reach 15 iterations per second for 30 seconds forward one stages so basically it's a uh, hits per second you can think of so 15 hits per second we are trying to reach using 30 virtual users so it will keep on varying it could be uh, uh, 17 so here maximum it went up to 17 so we don't need 30 here so now if i use only 18 it should work so let me clear my screen and uh, execute here so now uh, you can see it is executing four five views and then it is six seven so it keeps uh, trying to uh, reach up to maximum of 18 and then it will try to keep up the 15 iterations per second so that it will uh, maintain the whatever input value we have configured now let us wait for this execution to complete uh, i think it should complete without any error but so it, we reached 18 so 18 also not working fine so let me just terminate this and let us uh, execute uh, 20 here and let me go to the terminal clear my screen and execute we will see whether this execution is successful or not so by using this you can carefully craft your scenario so this particular ramping arrival scenario will help you to uh, carefully use your views so that you don't exceed the budget so budget means uh, it could be uh, your uh, uh, k6 cloud or even resources cpu memory network disk so everything is budget right so you can just uh, carefully craft using this uh, trial and error method so that you can uh, uh, save the uh, resources so now by using 18 views this time it went fine but we have configured 20 but all is good so this is what ramping arrival scenario uh, which will be very helpful in this case so now the last is externally controlled uh, scenario so this will be very helpful if you are using uh, say a ci cd or some rest api or using cli and if you want to control from the uh, third party or third party uh, means uh, you are uh, uh, remote basically and if you want to control something uh, then you can opt this particular uh, scenario so here i have configured 10 views maximum of 30 uh, views and duration of two minutes and we are going to control which control means we are going to uh, ramp up the virtual users ramp down the virtual users etc and then you will see 
how it behaves so for that we need two uh, terminals so i'm going to split this terminal on the left side uh, we are going to start our uh, execution and i'm going to uh, in the right terminal i'm going to enter k6 uh, status just to see what is the status of the uh, particular uh, scenario so status is 7 passed false so you can see all the details now you can see uh, we are executing uh, 10 views 10 out of uh, 30 views right so now i'm going to scale this so using the scale command and by passing the views say to 15 you can uh, increase so now you can see 15 views are getting executed and if you want to scale down to say one just to pass one now it is one and if you want to uh, pass right so now the uh, test uh, is passed and now i am going to resume you can just pass k6 resume so like this you can uh, keep sending the commands and you can uh, control the uh, flow whether you want to stop resume and if you want to scale up scale down so you can do a lot of stuff using the uh, externally controlled scenario for more commands of course you can refer the documentation but externally controlled scenario will be very helpful if you want to control uh, something outside of your uh, environment so i hope this session is pretty useful and if you have any questions please let me know uh, this scripts are available in the github repository so please check it out and thanks for watching and have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel